friends, today I'm going to be reading to you Dora's Eggs by Julie Sykes, pictures by Jane Chapman. Dora's Eggs. Dora was sitting on a nest of eggs. They were shiny, brown, and smooth to touch. These are my very first eggs, clucked Dora proudly. I must get all of my friends to come and admire them. Dora climbed out of the hen house and into the farmyard. Who shall I visit first, she wondered. I know, I'll go and find Debbie Duck. Dora hopped over the fence and across the field until she reached the pond. Hello, Debbie, she called. Would you like to come and see my eggs? I can't come now, quacked Debbie. I'm teaching my babies to swim. Dora stood watching the ducklings splashing around and learning to paddle. Somehow she felt a little bit less excited. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those fluffy ducklings are much nicer. Dora was just a little sad as she trotted over to the sty to visit Penny Pig. Hello, Penny, she clucked. Would you like to come and see my eggs? But Penny didn't hear. She was having too much fun tumbling around with her wriggly piglets. Dora gave a little sigh. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those wriggly piglets are much nicer. Dora gave another little sigh as she climbed the hill to find Sally Sheep. Would you like to come see my eggs? She asked Sally. Not today, bleated Sally. I'm too busy keeping an eye on my lambs. Dora looked at the lambs frolicking in the field. She felt rather glum. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those playful lambs are much nicer. Very sadly, Dora walked back to the farmyard. On her way, she bumped into Daisy Dog. Hello, Daisy, clucked Dora. Would you like to come see my eggs? Sorry, Dora, barked Daisy, wagging her tail. I can't come now, I'm taking my puppies for a walk. Dora was beginning to feel quite miserable. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those cute puppies out for a walk are much nicer. In the farmyard, Dora stopped at the cow shed. She wished she felt happier. Perhaps Clarissa the cow would cheer her up. Would you like to see my eggs, she called. Shh, mooed Clarissa softly, nodding at the straw. Snuggled up by her feet was a newborn calf fast asleep. Dora wanted to cry. My eggs are nice, she whispered, but that little calf all snuggled up is much nicer. Dora walked back across the yard in the sunlight and climbed into the hen house. Her eggs were just as she'd left them, smooth and brown and very still. My eggs are nice, sighed Dora, fluffing out her feathers, but everyone else's babies are much nicer. Very sadly, Dora settled herself down onto her nest. Crack! Dora jumped up in surprise. Oh no, cried Dora, I've broken them. Tears began to roll down her face. They splashed onto the nest and over the cracked eggs. As each tear fell, the cracks grew wider and wider until suddenly, up popped a fluffy head, and then another, and then another. Soon the nest was full of tiny chicks. Cheep, cheep, the chicks peeped. Cheep, cheep. Dora stopped crying and stared at her babies. It didn't matter that the eggs were broken. The new chicks were everything Dora had ever wanted. Proudly, she strutted out into the farmyard, and one by one, the chicks followed after her. All the animals stopped and looked. Why, Dora, quacked Debbie, they're as fluffy as my ducklings, and wriggly like my piglets, boinked Penny. They're as playful as my lambs, bawed Sally. And you can take them for walks, just like my puppies, barked Daisy. But best of all, mooed Clarissa, your chicks can snuggle up to you like my calf snuggles up to me. Cluck, said Dora happily, agreeing with her friends. My eggs were nice, but my chicks are much, much nicer. The end. 
All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed Dora's eggs and I'll see you next time. Bye.